Professor Taylor and I had a special treat today, a private concert of the Trout Quintet performed by University of Colorado musicians. This gives us a good chance to see how stringed instruments produce their sound. Does that include the piano then? Yes, the piano is a kind of stringed instrument. The other four instruments are much more obviously stringed instruments, and they're all members of what's called the violin family. How exactly do they create their sounds? Well, you remember we've learned that sound is a vibration of the air, so all instruments have to make the air vibrate. Let's take a look at the bass, for example. It starts with the string. The player runs his bow across the string, and that makes it vibrate. So the vibrating string is what's responsible for the sound? Not directly. Uh, the vibrating string is attached to the main body of the instrument, which is a great wooden box, and the string vibrating makes the box vibrate, which makes the air vibrate, and that's the sound. And why are the members of the violin family different sizes? Well, that's a good question. It turns out that the smaller instruments play a higher pitch, but we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Right now, let's take a look at the piano. It isn't obvious that the piano is a stringed instrument until we look inside. No, and then you can clearly see the strings and the little white felt hammers which hit the strings. And once the strings are vibrating, they hit the sound board and it vibrates, makes the air vibrate, and there's your sound. <laughs> 